Welcome to another shave here on the Soap Thing Project. In this video, I'm going to do a scent that is probably more familiar to me than it should be. It's Noble Otter Hamami. And this scent is supposed to be inspired by the smell of a Turkish bath. For <laughs> whatever that's worth, we'll talk about exactly what that is and what it smells like here in a second. But Noble Otter does make a tallow-based soap. Four ounces of soap for about $20. Not a bad price. It's kind of... You're not getting a bargain, but it's not overpriced either. So it's kind of a middle-of-the-road price for Noble Otter. Here are the notes. Right on the side of the tub, for your convenience, it's got saffron, bergamot, pedigree, jasmine, Geranium, wet stone, sandalwood, and tonka bean. Nice. Love this stuff. I've been sitting on this for a while, kind of waiting for a really special moment to use it, but that opportunity has not yet presented itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it right now because it is good stuff. I've been using it uh, all week, actually. So loving the smell of this right now. The aftershave is going to be Vince Camuto Eterno. It's a designer aftershave balm. This has a couple of overlapping notes. It's uh, mint, citrus, saffron, cedar, pepper, patchouli, some stuff like that. So definitely uh, doesn't smell quite like the Noble Otter, but it's uh, oddly complimentary. Let's put it that way. The razor is going to be the Merker Progress Adjustable Razor with a Nasset blade from Gillette. And the brush is going to be this 22mm Shave Mac 2-band Badger in uh, imitation pearl. So let's go ahead and get this started. Alrighty then, we have the Shave Mac brush. It's been soaking for a few minutes. And we also have the Pereira Shavery Unbreakable Shaving Bowl with the soap in it and the spray bottle. So I'm going to put the first 10 sprays in here. Then we're going to lather this up and we're going to have a conversation while we do it. <clears throat> so, what is a Turkish bath for those who, who don't know? Um... I can't speak to what it would have been historically, but I can tell you from oodles of personal experience that today it tends to be bundled in with a spa package. <clears throat> so usually a, a one hour massage and then a Turkish bath will be in front of and behind it. And basically what happens is they give you a pair of uh, disposable shorts and then you go into uh, this room and there's nothing in there except an antique looking faucet and a marble or tile slab at about bathroom countertop height and you lay down on it face down and then somebody comes in with a scour glove and a bar of soap and they also have this like little uh, saucer of water and that's how they rinse you off and they go in there and they proceed to mercilessly scrub the ever-loving shit out of you it uh <laughs> it's actually quite something uh, at first I thought it was kind of off-putting but the more I did it the more I realized you know what this isn't half bad I think I hit the light switch so, yeah. Now, the second question is, does this scent smell remotely close to what a Turkish bath smells like? Well, I can tell you, 
That's a four out of five on the sniffometer. But no, seriously. It's closer than you might think. Uh, if anything, this is a slightly dirtier scent than what I've personally experienced in a uh, Turkish bath. Because this is really heavy on the mineral notes. We'll talk about the exact scent notes here in a minute, but this is almost chiseled face levels of wet stone and just kind of these really strong kind of petrichor type mineral notes is what this uh, smells like first and foremost. I've got two days of growth on the face today. I'm trying to change up when I shave so that I can sneak more shave videos in. Uh, you're not going to notice the difference, but what I plan on doing is uh, recording a bunch of videos and then stopping and just kind of doing my thing for a while. And then when I, when I start running out of videos that are on reserve, I'll record a bunch more and rinse and repeat. All right. Let's put this on the face. Noble Otter has been one of those artisans that is kind of finicky to lather, at least for my lathering habits. You might use it and not have any problems, but in my experience, I have tended to need to uh, take my time, have a little bit more of a time-consuming lather, and I really got to watch my water. but that's because I want my lather to look and feel a certain way. All right, Merkur Progress with a Gillette Nasset blade. Let's do a shave, here we go. Put some more soap further up on both sides because I always like cut myself short. Don't put the soap up high enough. This is on level two, by the way. Ooh, this nascent blade. I don't know if I got a bad one or what, but it's kind of tuggy, which at only two days of growth, it shouldn't be that bad. All right, let's talk about the notes for this soap. Now, Noble Otter, at least on their older tubs, they love to put the notes right on the right on the tub, on the side. So it's got saffron, bergamot, pettigrain, jasmine absolute, geranium, whetstone, sandalwood, and tonka bean. So mostly what I get out of this is a lot of wet stone. Like a metric ass load of wet stone, <laughs> uh, which is uh, kind of mingling with these uh, really lightweight floral notes, which has got to be the jasmine and the geranium. And then I get a very recognizable dose of saffron, but I can tell you if you didn't know what saffron smells like, then you would probably think that note is invisible, and most of the notes are. I think I can pick up, with some degree of certainty, the wet stone, obviously. The jasmine, the geranium, and the saffron. Every other note is either just completely invisible, or it's so well blended that I wouldn't know it if I smelled it. Okay.
Always a pain in my ass with this razor, getting up under the nose. The place that I always go to, uh, like I said, they offer a one hour massage and the Turkish bath is included. There's this woman that works there. There's this woman that works there that seriously looks like she could take an MMA fighter and tear him completely apart. <laughs> like, uh, she is... Oh, man. She got that kind of horsepower behind her that she's definitely somebody you don't want to mess with. Well, the first time I did this, I went in there and she speaks uh, barely enough English to get by. And she comes into the room, looks me dead in the eye and goes, sit down. And I'm like, okay, all right, be cool. You want my watch and my wallet too? I mean, I'm not trying to be hostile here. <laughs> so, uh, so you go in there the first time and mostly what they're trying to do is just scrub all the dirt off of you, which I had a shower before I even went over there and she found dirt I didn't even know existed. It's kind of like the Kirby salesman where no matter what you do, you let them get access to your couch, they're going to find something. So that's mostly what that is for. And then you go in and do the one hour massage, which is amazing. This woman that I had who was, uh, was doing mine, I was face down on the massage table and she was like on her hands and knees on my back with her like hands like on my shoulder blades, but her knees were in my lower back, which was the worst kind of place for them. Cause I'm sitting there and like, I'm trying to relax, but all I can think about is don't fart, don't fart, don't fart. Because I swear to God, like I was just waiting for one of those icky animal farts to sneak out. <laughs> And then when you go back into the Turkish bath after that, mostly what they're trying to do is just get all the massage oils off of you. Because you don't want to walk out of there in this oily mess. I'm not sure why, but... I need to do a lot of touch-ups today. There must be something about this, this Nasset blade. I must have got the one blade in the pack that was just like... that I uh, wasn't there for the cutting lesson at blade school. Anyway, that's enough. I'm gonna, I better stop before I get in trouble. All right. Now, time for the Vince Camuto Eterno aftershave balm. This is a much cleaner smelling sort of affair, but you know, you got vintage meets modern, I guess you could say. And this, as you might expect, has a very designer smell. Okay. Wonderful stuff. I'm gonna call that a good shave. Wonderful shave, okay. My final thoughts on Noble Otter Hamami. Could I recommend this for a purchase? I mean, I personally like it. I'll give it a thumbs up just for that. One thing that you need to be aware of though is that this scent is not going to be pleasant to everybody. It is definitely one of those kind of scents that uh, you have to already know you like scents that are rough around the edges. Like, um, What's that Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, soap they release every spring? The one, the, their Petrichor scent? I can't remember what that one is called. La Tierra Mojada, that's it. 
So you need to already know that you like scents like that, petrichor type scents, or you basically already need to know that you like uh, chiseled face type scents because this one is definitely a little rough around the edges. It's not trying to be crowd pleasing. It is trying to make a statement, a scent statement of sorts, and it definitely makes that statement quite accurately in my personal experience. So definitely check it out if you're curious about that. Questions, comments, put them in the comment section of the video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.